I'm going to try to like just film without doing a voiceover or subtitles. So I hope I do not get interrupted in any way. Today I'm going to be packing a artist trade card for Des and Ni. Nee. That sounds like Destiny. That sounds so cute. Anyways, um, so I'm first I'm going to pack Des's cards and I don't just want to give her her two cards. So I'm thinking about giving her some stationery because she likes pen palling and journaling so i thought this would be great to give to her so i'm also going to prepare some cute stationaries and stickers and wash tapes and stuff like that to pair it along with this because just putting these in here it's like oh it's so boring you know let me get one of these it feels kind of awkward for me only because like i don't really do these kinds as much I'm gonna give her some of my memos because <clears throat> it's just sitting here and I'm not going to school so I really don't have any use for memos right now. I'm also gonna use these because I used to use them for my eBay sales and they were just a flop so. And Etsy just takes all your money so that's cool, whatever. So I'm, I'm gonna put like, thank you for trading with me yeah <laughs> trading with me heart from may thank you so much for joining this um little art thing with me heart oh my god that's so bad <laughs> so i'm gonna put this in here and i'm gonna pair them along with like a few stickers i have so this is for me this is for des and i'm gonna do this Okay, let me put Dessa's stuff on this side. I'm gonna put Dessa's stuff on this side. I'll put knees on this side. It's a complete mess right now, but you know what? You're, you guys are gonna have to deal with me with that. It feels like I'm doing a package with, pack with me again. Like pack an order with me again. It's literally not that. <laughs> I have no idea what they like, so I'm just gonna do some guessing here and there. Um but I hope they like these I'm just gonna throw in some random stickers in there so give me this um, Kiki and Lala sticker what's wrong with my voice today? it's a little different and then I'm going to give Des a pumpkin pumpkin and my melody sticker also very cute I'll try to do this as fast as possible but at the same time I gotta make it like pretty and then I'm gonna use one of these interior car designs I'm gonna use this gray one dark gray one Okay, I'm gonna give them both one of these cards. It won't fit in there, but you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna give them some of these like vintage retro, retro um, memos. They have gold outlines. You guys have probably seen way too much of these on my videos, but like literally, I don't any more like shopping for memos anymore so it's like the same things repeated over and over i do have some things that i did order but um you know they're not here yet and I, they're also not memos so um yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my god, I just realized I have so much a variety of these. They're so cute. Why am I not using these more often? And then I'm going to take one of these um, newspaper looking kind of memos sheets. I'm just going to peel one right from the top for them. I think it's going to be really thick, so I might have to send them separately. I love vintage stuff, so there's a lot of like vintage things that I want to give to them. So here's something else. I'm kind of giving them the same things. So that I don't feel like, oh my god, I'm giving them something so special and then this person is not getting it. And I would feel so bad and I'm that type of overthinker and be like, oh yeah, they're a bee. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. I don't want anyone to think like that, so. Okay, maybe that's enough for the vintage ones. And now I'm going to do um, the cuter memos. So here are some stickers that I pulled out. It's like a candy shop kind of thing. And this one's a donut, so there's something different. Here's for the kind of the cute stuff. This is a like Hanfu Hanfu Han Yifu. Hanfu. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so here. I'm going to give them each the same amount. I just hope that it doesn't get like too heavy for the package. And I'm going to have to like stick a lot. But it's going to be global. So I think I'm going to be fine. And then we have this one. Okay. Then I have this one. And then this one. Literally all of my memos are in here. And it's not that much. And I have one under here. That's also not much too. In the future, I hope to have more so that I can do more stationary swaps with everyone. But like, at the same time, um, I don't want... I only want two pen pals, okay? Because it's already a, a lot to just like swap with people. But I will do um, stationary swaps. So like, it's like a one-time thing. And I wouldn't mind that. So if you guys want to do that, please DM me on Instagram if you want to um, discuss that with me. And if you want to do that, I will definitely um, talk to you about that. I would highly say yes to doing a one-time swap with you guys. But don't ask for being pen pals because... Um, a lot of people ask me for that, and I feel so sorry every time having to reject them. Like, hey, I'm, I really love to be pen pals with you, but I can't. Only because um, stamps are really expensive, and I really respect people who do, like, who have so many um, pen pals. Girl, I'm not rich, okay? So I only have two pen pals and like one's in the US and the other is like in somewhere, somewhere I won't say, I won't leak it. But they're also in US, they're both in US, but um, I don't know. And then sometimes I like to send stuff to uh, my online friend. Who, whom you guys don't really know of. But I did make a art trading card with her, so you might know who that is. I'm so sorry. Everything is so out of frame. <laughs> but you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. There's so much things I want to give. And I'm like trying not to like um, make it overflowed, which I... That's exactly what I'm doing. And here's some stickers. These are all going to be different. So, another like vintage retro letter type stickers. I love stickers nowadays. So, 
and I these are the new ones that I got so thick it's so beautiful the designs are absolutely gorgeous I'm not gonna like choose random ones I'll just pick whatever's at the top and give it to you guys these are like a paper stickers so if you guys peel these it's like I need to stop saying like it's very transparent I'm gonna give them some mini stickers too it's the ones from my haul so and I'm gonna give them my designed stickers too it's the blueberry which I really love I'm gonna pack all this up and then I'm gonna be right back with making the washi tape and maybe I'll write a letter for them too okay be right back okay I am back now um so I finished wrapping these and I also made the washi tape samples which is the same thing that I have made right here I always give three rolls of each also just to let you guys know to let Des and you know that um this green one right here is more like a shiny gloss tape so I don't know if the color will get off if you guys take it off but I, I hope not because I don't want that to happen when you guys are trying to use it also did you guys hear my like my knee pop like girl your girl got some weak knees and I'm also gonna put the the little envelopes in here oh my god you know what's a good idea wait if can I fit these in here <gasps> oh my god I can so I'm gonna leave <laughs> I'm so sorry I get excited over little dumb things so I'm gonna put these cards in here yank oh my god I'm such a genius put the cards in here and boom I'm gonna do the same for this one okay I hope they don't watch this video until they receive it because I don't want to ruin the surprise for them. Also, these two right here, I wrote a little letter for them on the back just saying thank you and how I added like a much more stationaries in there. And I'm going to get these to them in here like this. Just so you guys know that these artist trading cards are simple. You can either keep the cards that I gave to you or you can trade them with someone else in the future. And you can't really pick what cards you get to trade in the future. For example, I'm going to show you mine. So these are some cards that I did off camera. I only have four at the moment. And pretend I'm trading with you. You get to pick um, which cards you want to trade. So if you want to trade with Kurami, then I get to see your cards and I'll be like, oh, I want that one. And then you'll trade it with me, okay? But you can also be like, oh, I don't want to trade that one because I want to keep that one for myself. So that's also a thing. So if, like, you want to trade this one and this one, I could give these two to you. And then you give two of yours to me of my choice. And you get to pick your choice from my deck. So, yeah, that's how you do this little game. For more picks, I have these four that I'm going to pack for her. Because I've wanted always wanted to give her something after talking like for a long time with her so yeah we're gonna pack these and i'm gonna put an address on these and that's basically it so much easier this way there we go okay and this is for dust um, I'm thinking about decorating the front, but I feel like they, these are already really heavy. But then I don't want to leave it, like, so blank. So I think I'm just going to put something simple on the front so that I can, like, write their address and stuff. And then, um, mail them out. I think I'm just going to put one of these again so that it's, like, really simple on the front and not so heavy afterwards. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use a, a sticky note that is bright enough so that they can read the address. Cause I don't wanna be like, 
Hey, here's something dark for you, and I use like black pen ink. Okay, and then I'm gonna add like this cute thing right on the side here, so I don't block the um the address section. I love how easy these stickers are peeling because usually it's so hard for me to peel the stickers and it takes me hours it takes hours and hours to peel them off it's like so time consuming i'm not even paying attention to how i'm peeling this <laughs> but i really love these stickers they're so cute i'm gonna buy more of these in the future especially like the chinese versions because the style is so cute we're gonna write their lovely names on this paper so we're gonna have why is it in pink why is it in pink i'm gonna use a different color i think i'm gonna use brown for uh me because hers is just like it looks like more towards the browner colors and then for des i think i'm gonna use a red on the side because that's what it looks like. <laughs> so let's write Nini's name. Oh my god. Dude, I absolutely love this calligraphy. Mostly learned it from um, Mopix. Because like the way she writes the ends. Oh my god. They're so pretty. It's about how much pressure you put on this. And she literally writes it so beautifully. I don't know how she does it. Then I'm gonna put some sparkles on here. And then for Des, I'm gonna use red. This is how Mulpix writes a D, right? Honestly, I have no idea. She does it so pretty. Hold on. Let's retry that because that wasn't good for to me. And uh, a D. Mm. good enough i think that's good enough and now we're gonna do the little sparkle effect oh my lord wait i want you guys to see something i don't you can't tell you can't really tell but like outside my window it, oh my god it's so dirty it's literally purple sky it's so pretty it doesn't look as gorgeous well look at this in my room but like in real life it's literally purple and pink does anybody have a problem with filming not not filming as in like your camera not working and stuff like that but filming and you're just like bending over looking at the progress of how you're filming does anyone have that problem because i do like whenever i film i always have to stand if i sit i can't see what i'm doing on the camera and that's how I don't catch, I can't catch those unfocused moments. Or sometimes I'm just too focused on what I'm doing that I don't catch those either. Filming is hard, okay? And then I end up with like neck pain, back pain. E even though it's just like temporarily, but like while you're filming, it's just so tiring. Sometimes I get so unmotivated to film anything because of that, almost because of that reason. And so like, yeah, I need some breaks, you know? But I, at the same time, I'm like, I have to film some content for you guys. This is not even like my real work, to be honest. I don't have work. And if I could make this YouTube thing a real time job, I would gladly, because I would love to stay home and film content than having to like work and deal with people. I'm not a people pleaser. But then recently, I've started to talk a lot more to people. Like, girly, what is this outburst of energy? I really love Ni. <laughs> like, her, the little short name, like how it's written. It's so nice and easy. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm stealing this calligraphy from Mopix. I'm not. I'm just learning from her. She's my teacher. She's She's also teaching me German, and I haven't asked her in a while, but I would, I'm gonna go back and ask her to teach me more words soon. 
So yeah, this is gonna be how it looks like. It looks so simple and so adorable. I absolutely love it. You see this? I'm so sorry, my light is literally um, shining on it so you can't really see well. But I'm gonna go like this and get some thumbnail pictures. There you go. Now I just have to pack these. And let's do that. And now I'll write my name in the back and then put their address in the front and that means we're done. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. We're done with me and this and I'm ready to mail this out. Hope you guys like the artist trading cards. Um, I can't wait to see the art cards that you guys are trading with me and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.